All right, now that we learned about modules and how to use them and how to import them and how to create our own module, we can actually look at the decimal module and understand what it is and how it works. Now, the decimal module is another data type. Um, we know there's integer data types, there's floating point data types. Now, there's the decimal data type. And that's what this module imports is a new data type. And the reason why they created this data type is because floating point numbers were not accurate. Now, a decimal basically is a floating point number, it's just um, handled differently. And what it is is a floating point num number with uh, precision, um, fixed precision, I should say. What that means is we tell the decimal how many numbers we want displayed. And what it does then is it um, will display that many numbers, but it will actually round up or round down to our specifications. All right. So let's take a look at it so you better understand what's going on instead of me just sitting here talking. So let's go ahead and look at the um, how to import the decimal module first. So I'm going to do, well, first off, I'm going to have my interpreter on, so Python 3, start up our interpreter. Now I'm going to do um, the import all uh, method, so it's from decimal import uh, asterisk, which is all, hit return. Now we have all the classes and functions imported into our program here. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the decimal. How do we use it? All right, so we're going to call the decimal function itself. So decimal, and then inside the parentheses, we're going to add our numbers, so 7.6. Then we're going to add uh, decimal 8.7 together. So what will we get? Hit return, and we get decimal 16.2999 in a very long number. And then at the end here, this is actually 28 numbers. Uh, if you count on them all, I believe it's 28. And I'm not going to count them. But at the end, it rounds up, all right? At, because our default precision in the decimal module is 28. Now, we can change that. That's the cool part about the decimal module. So let's take a look at how we change that. Let's first look at how we see what it's set at. How do we access the settings? So get context with two parentheses to open and closing will show us some of the settings. We got precision 28, we got round up half even, <clears throat> and a couple other pr parameters here. Now since the uh, actual decimal module itself is 6,500 lines of code, we're just gonna focus on how do we get our floating point numbers or our fixed floating point numbers, which are decimals, more accurate. We're not gonna focus on everything in the decimal in this tutorial. I will eventually have a tutorial on how to use a lot of other features of decimal, but for now, let's just focus on getting the proper uh, numbers in there. So, all right, so we, we accessed our context, which is the settings for the decimal module, and you see precision 28. PREC equals 28, so that means there's tw show us 28 numbers. Now, it has nothing to do with the decimal point, it's 28 numbers total. So if we took out that decimal point, and we count it, it would be 28 total numbers it will show us. And that's where it stops, and that's where it starts its rounding. After 28 numbers, it's going to round. All right. So let's change the precision so you can get a better idea of what that looks like. So I'm going to do get uh, context with the parentheses. Then period PREC equals uh, 3. So we're going to say, hey, we want our precision at 3 now. So I hit uh, return. And then let's call get context again to see if it actually changed. So we'll get context, just like we did in the previous step. And now we got our context and our precision of three. So let's go ahead and run this one again and see what happens. So we can do uh, decimal 7.6 and then plus, plus decimal 8.7. Hit return and we got 16.3 all right so what happened there well it's going to only return three three numbers because we said the precision is three so what it does is goes return 16 and then the decimal point and then it rounds up to the third number so rounds up to three all right 
and that's what it returns to us. So it returns to us three numbers. Pretty cool, right? Um, another thing we could do is let's look at another example just to reinforce what we did. Let's do decimal 78.6 plus 87.9. Oops, decimal, I'm sorry. 87.9. Hit return, we get 166. Well, now we don't get a decimal point because we're getting three numbers. All right, so we said only three numbers, so we're not getting a decimal point. So that's where that precision comes into. Now we can use a, a with statement. Let me clear my screen here so we can get back to the top. Now we can use a with statement to actually change temporarily change the settings. So let's get and look at this. We've we've never looked at the with statement, and we will in the future. So don't focus too much on that. Just understand you can temporarily change the settings of the context. So let's do with local context. And this is like temporary context, uh, the temporary settings as CTX. All right, so CTX is going to be our temporary variable that we're going to access um, our context with. So CTX, uh, four spaces. Let's go CTX dot PREC equals four. Hit return. Four spaces again and decimal. We're gonna run the same one we ran, 78.6 plus decimal. 87.9, hit return, and hit return one more time, we'll get 166.5. Alright, so we changed the context temporarily and we got 166.5. Now if I was to run this again outside the with statement, hit return, I get 166. So we're just temporarily changing it here with the with statement. Just be aware that we, we can do that. All right. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and back out of the um, interpreter for a second. And this is going to clear all the settings that we added because I don't want those settings right now. So let's fire up our interpreter again, Python 3. And now we're going to do, um, we're going to add a specific precision to the um, decimal point after the decimal point. So like if we're working with money, we only want two decimal points. So let's go ahead and look at that. So let's uh, go ahead and import uh, from decimal, import all again. <clears throat> so we get the module back. I'm going to do A is going to represent decimal and let's do 78.96 times 89.55 hit return call A and this is our number alright so <clears throat> we wanted to stop at after the 6 alright and we wanted to round up so we're going to use something called quantize and what this does is sets a certain precision after the decimal so we want two numbers afterwards. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm going to call our uh, equation that we did up here that's represented by A, our variable. Now I'm going to do quantize, Q-U-A-N-T-I-Z-E. And then I'm going to do decimal. And inside here, it has to be a string. So don't forget that. I kind of forget that sometimes. 0.00. .00. And then close out our string, close out our parentheses on the decimal, close out our parentheses on the quantize. So what this is saying is basically, hey, we want our number to look kind of like this. We want two numbers after the decimal point. So this is kind of what we want it to look like. So we go ahead and hit return. And now we get decimal 70, 70.87. All right. So what it does, it returns it to us like money you know this is how you should work with it with money because we want to quantize our numbers we want it to stop at 87 so what it did was round up all right um and if you want to get it out of a string you can just do something like uh print a dot quantize decimal uh, 0, 0.00 and what did I forget? Oh. Okay. Forgot something here. Print A 
quantize. Zero point zero zero. Close out the decimal. Close out the quantize. Close out the print. Hit return. There we go. So I don't know what I forgot up there, <clears throat> but we can print it so it doesn't look like it's in a string. We can also change it to a floating point number. We can do uh, float a dot quantize decimal. Zero point, oops, it's gotta be a string. Told you I forget that at some point. Zero, zero, string, close out our decimal, close out our quantize, close out our float, hit return, and there we go. We got a floating point number now. All right, so that's another way to break it out of a string because up here it returns a string. All right, um, we can also uh, change it to round up. So let's take a look at an example. Let's do, um, remember round, we did this a couple tutorials ago, 2.675, uh, comma 2, because we went um, to the second precision, or the second number after the decimal point to round up, hit return, and it gives us 26, or 2.67, which in theory it should round up, correct? All right, so let's go ahead and do decimal, 2.675, hit return, and we get the same thing because our actual number when it's uh, converted down to the C language and everything else that I explained before it's coming back as 2.67499999 all right so it's not actually 2.675 all right understandable <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do something like this let's do b is equal to actually it's clear screen so you guys can better see this b is equal to decimal 2.675 return and then we're going to do b dot quantize decimal uh, yeah, string 0, 0.00 and then we're going to do rounding is equal to Decimal, or actually, no, rounding is equal to roundup. All capitals. Sorry, just getting late. Round up like that. Hit return, and now it rounds up. So now we got 2.68. Sorry about that. Getting a little late here. Um, so that's the decimal module. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave a Question, or leave your questions on our forum at Master Code Online. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next tutorial where we talk about. I have no idea what we're going to talk about, so I'll see you then. <clears throat>